to design large and complicated systems using truth table method is going to be very uh, very tiresome finite state machines are a great alternative to design extremely complex logical circuits in fact most of the modern circuits are designed using finite state machines so what are finite state machines so a finite state machine is a machine that has finite number of states that is your system is bounded by a finite number of states now there are two types of finite state machines the first one is the more fsm and the second one is the mealy fsm so it's also known as a more machine and a mealy machine in a more machine the output is a function of current state whereas in a mealy machine the output is a function of the current state and the inputs typically a mealy machine is faster than a more machine although the design of a mealy machine is slightly more complicated than a more machine in a mealy machine the output is produced one clock cycle earlier compared to the output produced in a more machine so to understand about fsms there are several components that we need to know so the first one is states i'm going to explain this by comparing a more machine and a mealy machine states are nothing but the distinct configurations that the system can be in so in a more machine a state is written as sx and in a mealy machine the state is also written as sx difference can be seen more clearly when we have outputs associated you can have any number of states so i'm let's say i take another state sy sy and sz and so on whatever next we have transitions so for example in the mealy system if you have two two states sx and sy you can transition from sx to sx so after a clock cycle you can either remain in the same state or you can go to the next state and if you are in the state sy after a clock cycle you can either remain in sy or you can go to sx same thing happens in a mealy machine if you have two states sx sy after a clock cycle you can either stay in sx or move to sy similarly if you are in sy you can stay in sy or you can move to sx so transitions are conditions that govern how the system moves between states next you have inputs any system has inputs right inputs are nothing but signals that trigger the state transitions in the fsm so for example in the more machine you have sx sy now let's say you're in the sx state and if you get a zero so if zero is your input you can be in the same state and if you get a one you can go to sy and similarly if you are in the state sy and you get a 1 you can either go to sx or you can go to or you can stay in sy itself and if you get a 0 you can go to sx the same thing happens in a mealy machine you have sx sy so let's say for example if you are in the state sx and you get a 1 you stay in sx and if you get a 0 you can move to sy and in sy if you get a 1 you stay in sy and if you get a 0 you move to sx next you have outputs so fsms have outputs associated with each state or transition now here's where the different com- difference comes in so in a more machine the output is a function of state as you have seen here output is a function of current state so you write the output within the state your output can be a 0 or a 1 and these are the inputs let's say 0 1 0 2 
0, 1. So what this means is, if you are in the state Sx and you get a 0 as your input, your output is 0. And if you are in the state Sx and you get an input 1, then you move to state Sy and your output is 1. Now let's look at the melee machine. You have states Sx, Sy. If you are in state Sx and you get a 0, you stay in Sx and your output is a 0. If you see here, a melee machine is the function of the current state and input. So you write the output outside the state in a melee machine. Similarly, if you are in the state Sx and you get a 1, you can move to Sy and you can assert your output. Similarly, if you are in the state Sy and you get a 1, you can choose to stay in Sy with the output 0 or you can move to state Sx by asserting the output. So these are the fundamental differences between a melee and a more machine and these are the different parameters that govern FSMs that is states, transitions, inputs and outputs. To help aid in understanding melee machines and more machines we are going to take sequence detectors. So using sequence detectors let's try to form melee and more machines.